personalization and blended social studies learning. And it really truly is a way to put them as in students and control their own way, making their own way. These are some elements, pulled from a little bit of research, talking about personalization and blended learning. I'm not gonna read them word for word for you. Just that first part, really, I really kind of like that self-regulated learning. Personalization is you know part of personalization where they control the place, the pace, the depth, and they engage in self-assessment and reflection, help them grow as overall learners. The self-chosen part for where they do this stuff, the spaces within them, the non-linear choices that it gives them where they don't always have to follow the same pathway as others, and then the scaffolding that the teacher and the learner themselves does to meet those needs of personalization, allowing them to use innovative technology, not just the same way, but lets them get a little bit creative. That whole individualization and self-direction, again, we keep going back to this, I know it's repetitive, but they really are in control of what they're doing. And there are benefits to this approach where the increase in their autonomy does give them a chance to be leaders. And it puts the teacher in a position where they can take on that role of advisor, facilitator, and friend. They don't have to just be the sage on the stage instructor. Now, this is a more formal definition with, as you can see, research cited. And if you want those references, all you have to do is email me. A little bit dated, but still relevant. So I'm just going to read a few words in this. Tailored to the individual, flexibly promotes that innovative thinking, encourages that development of self-regulation. Again, the teacher acting as that advisor, facilitator, friend, not just as the practitioner, and it involves those technical tools. So this is that formal definition. And it might be a general definition, but it still is relevant to social studies. Benefits. Benefits is helps improve their satisfaction. I'm sure if you've been blending already in social studies, you know that it does help them feel better when they're doing their own thing, in effect. Also, the student's interaction with the learning environment is more authentic, it's more real, they're accessing the sources they're investigating for you in your social studies classes. And it does lead to that social cognition where they're like interacting with people, they're interacting with more real sources so they're going to think better about their world. And that motivation part of it. The fact that they're scaffolding on their own and being held by the teacher does help you know, motivate. There are constraints. Sometimes, as you know, challenges with technology that makes the blending approach work in, in social stories or anywhere. And the concept of personalization, different people can have different meanings. So that sometimes can be a problem when you're interacting with other people about this. And also remain realistic in terms of the individual's ability. Not all of them can do all parts. So again, that's part of that scaffolding. To personalize it, you need to put them in a position with things that they can actually do. But you can do that just by paying attention. So here's two examples. Students working on the hot spots of the Cold War, Korean War, Cuban Missile Crisis, Vietnam War. They have the choice of working on their own to examine the relevant resources or working with somebody else. They're given multiple sources, from which they choose to develop content information. So they're deciding which sources to pick to investigate each of those conflicts, and then they're deciding how they're going to display that information. Also, students are tasked with developing, this is the other example, a presentation of the story of the actions of Dr. King, uh, Jamil Alamin, H. Rat Brown, Huey Newton, and Angela Davis. They make it their own by deciding what sources to use and the mix of multimodal sources in the blended environment to use to tell the story of different approaches to people working for African-American rights.